So today EA gave us Bino Gittins and Henriks as the SPCs, of course, for Leipzig against Borussia Dortmund. They've got super loans this time, which is quite interesting as well. We're going to take a look together at the price of the actual SPCs before we do anything else at all. Uh, two squads for Bino uh, Gittins. That is a difficult name to say. And then Benjamin Henriks is going to cost you a one squad, which is just going to be an 84. So 83 and 80. Two for Bino and then an 84 for Hemrix. Quite an even game to be fair. Going to be hard to call this one. And we've got both of them on their super loan. And I would recommend guys that you do this as well. Kind of makes this review kind of redundant. Because you know you can make your own decision based on these loans. But first of all going into Jamie. He's got 4 star, 4 star, 5, 9, high, medium, right footed. 92 for pace and 90 for dribbling. 84 for shooting and 82 for passing and 72 physical. He's got the flare trait. If he gets a plus two, up to 94 pace, 92 dribbling, 86 shooting, 84 passing, and 74 physical. In terms of also positions, he can play right mid and left wing as well, which is quite nice. In games for this man are actually quite cool too. 96 acceleration and 89 sprint speed, 84 attack positioning and 89 finishing. Poor shooting outside of that though, so we're going to have to try and boost that. Vision is at 77, crossing at 84, short pass at 90, long pass at 75, and then curve at 84. Dribbling stats are really good on him though. 96 agility and 95 balance. 84 for reactions. And he's got 88 ball control with 91 dribbling and 84 composure. He's got 95 jumping and relevant on this card, honestly. 85 stamina and 71 strength. It's a cool card. It's not the best card in the world. Uh, but for me personally, guys, on a card like this, I feel like a dead eye is probably going to be what you're going to want to go for. Now, the reason for that, I'm going to be playing him at Cam. With somebody that's got that good dribbling, I feel like Cam's their best position. Up to 92 on the attack positioning, up to 97 on the finishing. But most importantly, up by 15 on the shot power, up to 95. Which is so crucial on attackers on this game. If you don't have a shot power at least 90 plus, you are going to suffer. So to have that boost is really nicely there. Is good. Plus 4 to the long shots as well. Up to 85 vision and 99 short pass with 88 curve as well, guys. That is a nice upgrade to Jamie there. As we go to Hemrix, this card is six foot one, high medium, right footed, three star, four star, 90 pace and 87 dribbling, 81 shooting, 85, oh sorry, 81 passing, I mean, 85 defending and 83 physical. Traits him are just injury prone in terms of alternates, he can play right mid and right wing back, which is okay. As we go into the in games, this is an interesting card 94 for acceleration, 87 for sprint speed. Shooting is woeful, passing is okay with 80 vision, 86 crossing, and 86 short pass with 74 long pass. 86 agility and 79 balance is a little bit poor. Outside of that though, his dribbling is crazy. 87 reactions, 88 for ball control and dribbling and 86 composure. Defensively very solid as well with 86 interceptions, 85 defensive awareness and 87 stand tackle. Jumping is a little bit low on him, but considering he's 6'1", that's okay. At 78, good stamina is about 89. 81 for aggression and for strength as well. And for these cards, guys, I honestly think you're either going to go for a shadow or for this card, shadow on anchor. And I like the anchor on him. Two boosts up that aggression and strength, as you can see there. Very nice boost there. And a good boost to the jump in too. <coughs> Defensively, he's up to 90 inceptions, 89 defensive awareness. Goes up to 95 stand tackle. And you get a nice boost to the pace as well. So plus four to that, up to 94. If he gets a plus two, 92 pace, 89 dribbling, 83 for passing, 87 for defending, and 85 physical. This is the team we're going to be playing both of them in. We're going to be playing in a 4 1 2 narrow. Henrix is going to be going forward, seeing what his recovery speed is like, see what his defensive tackles are like as well, guys. Let's get into a few games of Champs playoffs and see how these two cards do play. All right, then, guys. So, first game with the new lads, and let's see how they get on. I'm actually not really expecting too much from uh, the right back. I think it's going to be more of a review on Bino Gittins, is it? Oh, I've got his name already. Oh my god, okay, Henrix. I don't know if he's actually lengthy. He might, no, I don't think he is. Is this Bino here? Yes, it is. Let's see what your dribbling's like. Ooh. Oh, yes. Oh my god. He's in. He's in. He's scored. What a finish as well. Wow. Nobody, he just didn't want to tackle me. Fair enough. What a start that is. We've got Henrix here up against VJ. Oh dear. One on Henrix. Mark that out. Okay. It's awful defending, really, isn't it? Good goal from him, though. He's got the Martial card that's an absolute god on this game. He's got an interesting body type, this card. I don't know if he's going to be too good in game, mind. 
But based on that finisher, you'd expect him to be so semi decent, right? Let's see what we can do with him. Nice. Into Hemrix down there. Yeah, good ball as well. Hemrix. Sadio Mane. Mane's in. Mane more. Mane moors. Mane does not sc more or score for that matter. He misses. He misses. I thought. I, the reason I said more there is because he's missed and I thought he was going to score at the same time. Oh dear. Bad start. Bad start. It was a good pass from Hemrickson. It was good from uh, Bino Gittins as well. That is such a horrible name to say. Don't mean to offend anyone either. But that is a strange name to say for sure. Bino Gittins. Yeah, nice. Good pass there. Back into him. Can he find that? Yes, he can. Oh, what a touch as well. Fonzie Davies is in. Fonzie Davies scores. And it's a good assist there from Bino Gittins. Very nice. Very nice. Go on then. Go on, Hemrix. Oh, dear. Nice. Good tackle there in the end. I think he's uh, got quite a nice body type, actually, for the right-back position because... Oh, wow. I'm not like that at all. I feel like the way fullbacks kind of play on this game, if you want a defensive fullback, Hemrix might be that guy. Honestly. Yeah, nice. Go on, then. Bino Gittins. Bino Gittins. Easy assist. Nope. Never mind. Hemrix. Oh, oh, man. He felt really strong there to be able to get beyond there, honestly. These cards might be the kind of cards that are better on um oh yeah what a goal i like this bolo gittins i think he's quite good his positioning is very nice these are the kind of cards that might be better on new gen um of course we will test them out on both yes Henrix, man he's good as well Into, he's more of a defensive fullback but he is good man he is good here's bolo gittins again a bit of dribbling nice Good balls on it. Man, his passing is crazy good. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I tried to shot cancel. Unlucky. Oh, we still got the ball. Oh, no, we don't. Never mind. Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with Bino Gittins. He's very, very good. I'll be completing his main card, probably. I say that like I'm ever going to play 100 games with him, though, which I probably never will. Oh, unlucky. Yeah, they're good cards, guys. I don't think you should be using Henrik as an attacking fullback, though. I think he's definitely more suited to... Uh, being a defensive fullback. I know we are trying to see what his recovery speed and all that kind of stuff's like. Oh, unlucky there from him. But yeah, I'm I'm, uh, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed with both of them. And it's interesting with a card like this Hendrix, right? Or Henrik, sorry. Um, how he compares to like Molina. As I said, Molina's a very, very attacking fullback. Henrix, not so much. All right then, guys. Moving over to old gen now. I was very impressed with Bino Gittings. Or get ends on new gen and Henrix was okay. I, you know, I think Henrix is going to be the worst of the two just because you're going to see more of Bino Gittings, aren't you? What the hell's happened there? Here he goes again. He just feels so clean. Oh, yeah. Look at the sprint boost on the man. Oh, turn. Oh, come on, Sadio Mane. He's moored again. He's moored again. Could you believe it? Yeah, Bino Gittins feels insane on the ball, on both versions. Very impressed with Henrik's, like, as a defensive option. I feel like EA have now given us a showdown at fullback for, oh, my days. <sighs> for uh, attacking fullback at Molina, and now a defensive one with Henrik's. It's what it feels like, anyway. Because uh, Henrik's is a lot better defensively than he is going forward. He can offer a little bit going forward, um, but nothing spectacular, right? So... Doesn't feel the best on the, the like the turn in, but he's got a decent tackle on him, which I do like. Can't really drive too well um, unless you really do do the step overs an awful lot. That's where he's good there, and his passing's okay. His passing is okay, which you've got to got to respect a little bit, haven't you? Um, but yeah, I want to do a I want to do a long bang. Come on in. Oh, he's read me. Fair play. The other thing about that Bino get, uh, Gittins is quite good. Is he's got decent strength for, for like a a dribbler. I suppose. He's meant to be quite a technical player. And he's got decent strength, which is quite uh, different to the usual. So he feels just unbelievable. Look at him go. I mean, that's just a joke. What a save that is in the end. This guy is nervous. I'm going to try a finesse with him here. Hopefully we do green it. Let's look at that sprint boost there. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Unlucky. Unlucky. This Bino Git Gittins is awesome. Please give him the plus two. I mean, I don't know what I'm saying. Give him, like, yeah, you have any control over it, but. 
Well, you can see for yourself, man. Oh my God. Oh, he is brilliant. He is absolutely brilliant. When I saw his stats, I was kind of thinking, eh, just run of the mill, you know. A decent card, nothing spectacular. But he is special. He is extremely good. I know it's going to turn into a bit of a Bino Gittins review. All in uh, like both of them. But that's just the way it is, man. That's just the way it is. You know, we're going to see what we see with Henricks from a defensive side of things. Where we can. He should have played that there. Yes, Henricks. Okay. Both cards are good, man. Both cards are good. What a pass, Jovatic. It should be two. Bino Gittins. What a god this card is. <laughs> Oh my god, I, I'm kind of almost like lost for words how good he is. Fair play, man. Fair play. Henrix is really good at like doing this kind of stuff though, guys. He, as I said, he, his passing isn't the best. Nor is his shooting. Oh my, guys. Guys. Oh, oh. Oh, that was meant to be the uh, heel to heel there. I am shook by this card. I think he's... <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I am shook. He is just brilliant. He is... Like, this guy can't deal with him. Oh, man. For cheap FIFA 23 coins, make sure to check out MMOEXP.com to get fast and reliable coins. And make sure you use code VIPER at checkout. Get yourself a 5% discount. All right, guys, so reviews are in for Bino Gittings and, oh, sorry, not Bino Gittings, Bino Gittens and for Hemrix. And the question you're all going to be asking is, should you complete the Super Loan or should you complete the actual card? Now, in my personal opinion, I don't think these cards, upgraded or not, will stay in your team for 100 games or 99 games, I suppose. But I also think they are great cards. So Bono Gittin's got seven goals and three assists in two games. He's brilliant. If he gets a plus two, he is going to be absolutely levels. Um, he's already so, so good. We played him in the middle cam roll in a 4 one 2 2 narrow. And he was great. And similar with Henriks, I think the thing about Henriks is he's a right back, you know, and it doesn't offer that much. He's really good defensively. He's not too good going forward. So if you watch the gameplay, you would have seen that I said... I think they've offered us one attacking right back in Molina and one defensive right back in Henricks. And honestly, I feel like, let's say Bono uh, Gittins gets the plus two, yeah? Even with the plus two, he'll be great. Yeah, absolutely. But by the time you use over 100 games on him, it will be in team of the season and this card will then be irrelevant. So whilst I think he's a great card, I think by the time you've utilised all 100 games, he won't be in your team anymore. Henricks, on the other hand, if he gets to plus two, I think could be in your team past team of the season. I think the thing about this Henricks is he's a good right back defensively, but he can also play centre back. He's a very, a very solid defensive option. So if you wanted to play him in centre back, you certainly could. And I suppose that's the kind of equaliser, right? That, you know, Henricks is probably longer last in your team, but Bino Gittins for right now is better of the two, if that helps you at all. And I just wouldn't be completing the main SBCs because I feel like, as I've already said, by the time you uh, you get to using the 100 games, these cards won't be in your team. More so by no Gittins. If you want to complete Henrix properly, you, you should do him over Gittins, in my opinion. But they're both great cards. And Gittins is really enjoyable. Feels insane on the ball. Great shooting, great finishing on him. Good passing. And the good thing about him as well is he's got a little bit of strength and you can feel that in game. So even though his left stick dribbling is crazy... He feels really strong on the ball, which was something I wasn't really expecting. I definitely would put the dead eye on him for sure. And then for Henricks, just a good player. Just really solid, good defensively, and not the best going forward. That four-star weak foot is nice, but I would like him as a centre-back. Um, by the time he gets like team of the season, hopefully, he, you know, if, if he gets a plus two, then he can be in your team for the rest of the game, in my opinion. Bino Gittins, right now, if he got the plus two, would be insane, but would be out of your team by team of the season, in my opinion. That's my reviews on these cards, guys. I'm going to rate Bono Gittins on new and old gen. 9 out of 10. Henrix, I'm going to go for a 8 out of 10 on new gen and a 7 out of 10 on old gen, guys. Let me know if you're going to be completing these cards. Let me know if you even want to watch this review because of the super loans. I don't know if you guys are interested in this due to the fact they have given the super loans. But, guys, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell to so subscribe review. But, guys, that is going to be it for me for now. So, take care.